We're in Salt Lake City, Utah, visiting the fourth largest UPS regional hub in the United States. Salt Lake City is beautiful, surrounded by mountains on all sides. These mountains, however, trap all the emissions, which led UPS to choose natural gas trucks for their Salt Lake City fleet. During run on last messy middle, UPS will be running a Kenworth T680 day cab tractor with a Cummins X15N engine using natural gas to traverse mountainous Utah landscape. Let's hear more about how this tractor will perform in this difficult duty cycle for both natural gas and fuel economy. So within the state of Utah, we're putting about 240 drivers out on the road every day. We've got a thousand trailers or so in and out of this facility on a daily basis. We're a seven day a week operation. When we opened this facility seven years ago, natural gas was part of our original operating plans. Um, it has been a slow, steady rollout. We're definitely having to develop into the CNG realm. Uh, the mechanics are adapting this building here. More than 50% of the fleet is CNG and 92% of our package fleet is CNG. As each new generation of CNG tractor has been released, we've been able to implement those and really expand how far we can go up to the point now where 65% of my fleet that goes out every day is in a natural gas tractor. As far as sustainability, obviously we are definitely one of the leaders in it. It helps having our own UPS technicians on site so that we can keep with the consistency of the repairs, the education and the knowledge. Overall, the maintenance at our Salt Lake Regional Hub uh, consists of PMI intervals, the preventative maintenance inspections, lube oil and filters on our package cars, and uh, routine maintenance on our CNGs, uh, spark plugs, uh, special CNG filters. Also, the CNGs have their own self-maintaining after-treatment system, whereas a diesel, you would have the DPF system that would need maintained. The mechanics are seeing more wear with the valves. We're having to adjust the valves more often. The plug wear has definitely been uh, kind of concerning. We're not getting the life out of the plugs that uh, we would expect to see. Um, but other than that, the maintenance is uh, pretty equivalent to a diesel. When you are specking a natural gas truck compared to your diesel truck, it's important to understand the energy density difference between a natural gas and diesel. Natural gas comes in a gaseous form, so therefore you need to compress it and requires more real estate, more cylinders to be able to achieve the same mile range as a diesel truck. So right behind me, you'll see a behind the cab, what we call a pro cab fuel system. It's 175 diesel gallon equivalent. It reaches about seven to 800 mile range, which is why we design it this way to be able to achieve that diesel-like performance and that same operation as a diesel truck does today. One of the benefits on the CNG, all the way from Arizona or here in Salt Lake, extreme temperature differences. In the extreme cold, the CNGs still start. No block heaters, nothing like that. They do start, unlike our diesels. And in the extreme heat of Phoenix, Arizona, same exact thing, whether it's cold or hot. I have not had any temperature-related issues on the CNG. We need more expansion with our CNG supplier partners to get out to some of these locations where there aren't stage fueling stations yet. The, the tractor doesn't quite have the range yet where we need to fuel at a turnaround or have a good option at a truck stop or something on the way to or from our meet point. So that's coming with our partners expanding those networks and these new 15 liter Kenworth tractors. Within the next few years, we will have that opportunity to be 100% renewable natural gas here in Utah. Well, we're constantly looking at expanding our network. You know, we have 600 you know, stations today, 200 that are tractor trailer friendly. But we look at lanes that customers are, are running to determine really uh, what options are available along those routes. Depending on a, a fleet with a customer, depending on how many miles they have and what the investment cost is to build the station, it typically takes between 20 and 30 trucks to actually justify building a station. We're really excited with the 15 liter X15N, it really has shown and proven over the last year and a half with PACCAR that it does deliver the diesel-like performance. I talk to drivers all the time and even here at this UPS facility that, you know, they finally have a truck that they can do the same type of operation and work like a diesel. I've been very happy with this truck. I heard that they did just as well as the diesels and they do. I start at 2.15 a.m., drive 700 miles, I go to Mesquite, uh, which is 350, turn around and come back. It's much quieter. 
It's much quieter being in a CNG than it is in a diesel. It makes a lot less noise. And uh, the interesting thing, these Kenworths, I really like because they've got a really soft uh, suspension, soft drive. The steering's really nice on it. This is my favorite truck uh, that I've driven for UPS. Kenworth is proud to partner with UPS as they were the first to receive an X15N in one of our Kenworth T680 chassis earlier in 2024. Natural gas has been a powertrain option in the Kenworth T680 for over a decade with the T680 Classic or Legacy platform previously and then now with the T680 Next Gen or just the T680 model that you see out on the road today. Both of those platforms accommodate natural gas very, very nicely. Um, initially with, you know, the ISX 12N and earlier technologies and now, of course, graduating to the X15N platform, which we're really excited about. UPS has been a partner for a long time. Um, so almost since the beginning of Geotab, we've been working with UPS in a variety of capacities. What we're finding is that as technology continues to progress, it's getting more reliable. CNG is now becoming a technology that we're all very familiar with. We kind of know what the complications are that come with CNG and infrastructure is in a much better place than it was several years ago. And so it's a lot more attainable of a, an alternative fuel technology for a lot of fleets. And it's easy to scale. The fueling here, we have a slow fuel and a high efficiency fuel. The high finch uh, would fill one of these up. I usually put from 90 units to 110 units in 10, 15 minutes, maybe. It, it goes pretty fast. You know, on days when I'm in a hurry or need to get off, we, I will plug it into a, a, a slow fuel, we call it, and just let and then sit there overnight. I actually like filling the CNG. There's a cap you take off, and, and we have two different sizes, a fast fill and a slow fill. We like the fast fill. We put that on there, and it locks down. It probably takes about 10 minutes max to take a tank that's 90% empty to fill that thing up. And what's great about it, because it's locked on there, it's safe, and I can go around and clean my windows and clean things up on the truck, you know, do my post trip a little bit. There's a safety feature with that cap. If you leave the fuel nozzle on there and jump in and accidentally try to start, it will not, the motor won't start. It's a really nice safety feature. Another feature is if you take the hose off and put it back on the fueler and forget to put the cap on, if the cap is off, it won't start. So that's a safety feature. It has some kind of a magnetic switch on there. So once that's locked on, it would allow you to start the motor. I, I really like that. As I'm driving home and I see those alternative fuel vehicles that are out on the road, it makes me proud that the company that I work for is making a difference. Yeah, it's, it's nice that the technology has caught up with the former older technology so that we can get good performance now and have clean air. I, I really like that. I like seeing clear skies.